Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to give a quick demo to show how you can automatically update dropdowns and sheets and on forms using Data Shuttle. Note, Data Shuttle is a premium app, so it comes at an additional cost unless you're on a Smartsheet Advanced plan. But for teams managing information in sheets at scale, you'll see how this automation can save you lots of time and heartache and remove human error and or dependency on people to update forms and sheets, so it pays for itself. So let's dive in. So in this scenario, we are looking at a sales team with a defined product range. So currently they've only got six products that they are dealing with. And if we go across to the sales sheet, you can see in the drop down here, there's six products listed here. And if I go across to the form they use on the form, then the six products are listed there as well. So let's go back to the sheet. The first thing we're gonna do is add in new product. Uh, this is going to be available from the 1st of October and it's going to have 12 months and 36 months as per the tenor. Okay, I'm going to save that information and this product range has been updated. Now, clearly this can be updated many ways and this sheet can be owned elsewhere. But as long as this sheet is updated, I'm now going to launch Data Shuttle and show you how this can be automated. So I click on Data Shuttle, it signs me in. You can see the workflows I've got. So the first thing to do is to create a download. So I'm going to offload, download the information. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell it where I want to download it from. So in this case, it's going to the, from the sales team, from the product range. And you've only got one choice here about replace rows in the target. So I click next and in terms of target location, where do I want to save it? Well, to keep things simple, I just want it to stay within Smartsheet. So I'm gonna go into the productive demo, I'm gonna stay in sales team, I'm gonna find the same product, I go product range. And in terms of file name, I'm gonna call this file name product update download for demo and I'm going to call, save it as an Excel file. So I'm going to ask it to add headers to the destination file. Click Next. This is an option to create filters, which I don't want to do in this case. And I can download all column headings, or I can just download the product name, which is all I need really in this case. So I'm going to get rid of the other ones. I'm going to save product heading, and it's going to save that to a column called product. So how often do I want it to run? Well. We're only going to release new products once a week at maximum here, but it can be done on a daily basis or whatever is the need. And you can do it multiple times in a day if you so want. So if I click next, I'm going to call this workflow download of new products. Publish download of new products. It is here and you can see it has never run. So it's scheduled and it's going to offload. So I'm going to ask it to run and it's saying refresh to see results. So this may take time, but we can see already it has run. It downloaded six seconds ago and seven items have downloaded to that sheet. So next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go straight ahead and create the upload. So click on upload here. And what I want it to do is Smartsheet attachment. So login and source location. Select a file, I'm gonna go back to the same place again, sales team, product range, choose attachment by most recent, because again, it's one to two, and I've said it's got headers in, so I'm gonna click headers, yes, I'm gonna click next. Okay, by doing most recent, it always then picks up if there's been a change. And what I want it to do is replace, merge data, or actually update the, update the dropdown choices. I click this option, I click next, I don't need a filter, go forward. And what I haven't done is I haven't set the target. So let's go back to that one. So in terms of the target, what do I want it to do? I want to update it in the team sales. So I missed that step. I was getting too excited and ahead of myself. So up, down the, update the drop-down choices, um, skip the filter, move ahead. And what do I want it to map to? So in this case, I just want it to map the item. So I'm gonna put product, to item, in this case, click next, run on attachment, 
or run on schedule? Well, if it's been update, if it's been downloaded because it's changed, model will run straight away. So run on attachment is the easiest thing to do in this case. I don't need to input any expressions. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to call this update product dropdowns publish. That's now published. I'm going to click run in this case to get it to run. And I'm going to refresh to see the results. Update product drop down. You can see that says it's now run. So let's go back to the sheet here. And so that's the list where it's already done. If we go to the team sales sheet and we had six items here previously. So we've got the six items. Cancel if I click refresh. You can now see the seventh item has been added automatically to that list. And let's go to the sheet here and the items not currently here. But if I refresh this, that has now been refreshed. And you can see the Alto is down at the bottom as well. So hopefully this is useful to you. There's so many uses for this and it will save so much time. It is a massive benefit of Data Shuttle, but there are many other uses for the Data Shuttle, which will save so much time and drive efficiency for you to work at scale. So I trust this has been useful. My name is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. And if you're interested in more videos like this, please look at my YouTube channel or subscribe for when I post new videos. Thank you for watching.